Okay, I can stop. Hi! Recording. Hello, the internet, Port Clifton, what he adds, no moon today. I contacted him, but it was early, I suppose. Um, I might actually have to move the mic stand, it's fine. Nah, it's cool, I'll just lean this way. Last time we played, we were in a field. Is it? Why is it still showing us this? <laughs> because we've gone through nothing plot-wise. We should maybe go to where Hope was again. Or do we go back to the field because we'd like, we'd explored it, but I feel like we might have to talk to someone or something. Alright, let's go to the field. <laughs> this is not a battle I'm overly bothered about, like, <laughs> fighting. We've got to do it all eventually. Time and space. Time and memory. Time Fear and space and indeed. Yeah. Fear and panic. Yeah, that'll be fine. Whatever. It's still question mark, question mark, question mark. Maybe they should go up to someone and say, hey, what year is this? I don't know, one after the last year, one before yeah. next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't really think about that in these parts. It's winter, I think. Except that don't really matter anymore because we got this machine that changes the weather. Sometimes we want to raise crops, we, we press the rain button. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a bit of a sunbathe, press the sun button. And by that I mean pull one of the two levers. <laughs> Put them in the correct combination. Exactly. <gasps> Science is magical, isn't it? I'm gonna talk like this for a little while, I think. Oh yeah, no. We have Ezio and Fashion Victim. <laughs> <laughs> the adventures of Ezio and Fashion Victim are an exciting tale. Let's be able to hear this a little bit, shall we? And there was the mystery of how to get over there. Oh yeah. And it's like, will that be later, or do we have to change the weather? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know whether that is the case or not. Oh hey, look over there, there was a thing glinting of... It is not real at the moment. Nice. What happens if we just throw the moon? It was a cactuar. Nice. Cactuar, however the fuck you're supposed to... Yeah. Fuck you. I think it's no. pronounced cactuar, but spelt cactuar. Because... That's intuitive. Japan! But the most important thing about the Kaktuwatu Atua is uh, that it's on the back of Volt Kruger's jacket. <laughs> that it... game that isn't Final Fantasy. Yes. Maybe we should be the bouncer next. I'm gonna keep on suggesting we do the bouncer in every LP and never actually do it. The first page of every LP we ever do will have on it, when is the bouncer? You do realise that. Yes! Yes, I do. And I'll help here after Commonwealth. <laughs> like, three people will get that. I know, but if someone wants me to LP Commonwealth, all they have to do is ask in the thread. I mean, H-bomb's not gonna step. Uh, look to your behind. <laughs> your behind. Uh, that away, yeah. Keep going that away. Can you jump onto that rock? No, it's still just a massive drop. It looked like a bit of the scenery was actually a rock you could stand on, but it wasn't. Because I'd hate- oh, this is a battle we can't win, isn't it? But we've captured the Buckaboo Ace at some point. So. Oh, right, so maybe not. It was a different kind of goblin. Because, like... Yeah, no, because this was a really hard one because it keeps on goblin-hancing, and it can heal. So we need to take out him first or something. Oh yeah, Saz is in our party and has a carbuncle in his hair. As we record this video, we are technically capable of posting the LP, like, in terms of three month rule, but we're holding off to give... To let the posse be terrible. <laughs> from what you were saying. I've not watched the videos, I don't know. Someone was complaining about it in the thread. 
Witch threat. Bears. But, you know, we want to give other people breathing room to do a Let's Play. We've got important shit to be doing. What he has learning guitar, everyone, is a thing that is happening. So next time I'm like, hey, what do you have to play a guitar solo on a song when we have inevitable technical difficulties? Instead He'll... of being amazing and weird, it'll just be terrible? Yes. <laughs> but I mean that in a good way. He'll bust out his pentatonic. It'll be great. I'm looking forward to the day when you suddenly surpass me. Like, where I'm like trying to teach you like a G major chord and you just start fucking wailing. I've got this feeling that that's never gonna happen. It might. Like, you'll secretly be having lessons not with me, and with, like, some virtuoso. And just so that one day you can show me up. Three stars, that's not bad. What else is going on I in spent our- I spent way too long buffing. <laughs> um... Oh, another thing that's going on in our lives is I rediscovered a web series that cool. I used to watch in 2006, so when I was 17 years old. Um, or rather, it was posted in 2006, I think I started watching in 2007. Um, it's called Tainted. It's on YouTube. You should check it out. It's about vampire hunters. It's made by some British people. It's a cool YouTube series. I have not watched all of it since 2007, but we started re-watching the short episodes the other night, and we've still got the two half-hour long episodes to go. Um, you should watch it because there will be a quiz. I don't know what's on the quiz. But we'll come up with some. Yeah, do your best impression of Dirt Dirt. If we could, there would be a blue circle. Because remember, the jump button is completely pointless. Yes, yeah, that is true. <laughs> Is this going to be another entire day of fights? <laughs> Only this time with no exploration to really be done. Yes. <gasps> yeah, we had to cut last time short and it wasn't because my greenhouse fell down. That was unrelated. So you only got like two hours worth of Mr. Moon, but he'll be back. Two He's and gonna... a half, I believe. Two and a half. But, because we're gonna try and get him involved a little bit more this time. Because we're not recording this in a caravan in Wales. Yet. The next trip to the caravan in Wales is going to be Star Ocean. Yes it is, and okay. it's going to be appalling. And we're going to all hate each other. And ourselves. And you, the internet. Have we been this way before? This is, this is where there are people to, to talk okay. to, which is why I'm coming Let over here. Let us talk at folk. You can resume your flan hunting competition. Okay, that's good for you. Can we join are the Are you flan implying that our cover doesn't look capable? <laughs> uh, yeah, because our cover is Ezio Auditore, the most capable. To be fair, it's him and Fashion Victim and also Time <laughs> Yeah, a fucking flying bear cat with a time stick. That turns into a bow and also a sword. Would you say bear cat is a fair description of Moogle? Like, I've never really tried to work out what they are. And bear well, cat What they are varies like... from thing to thing, because I mean... In... There's also the dumb Moogles that are clearly rabbits. Oh yeah, in, uh... Evilies. 
Yes. That is such a stupid fucking pronunciation of that combination of letters. Yes. Yes, it is. Like, Ivalis would actually sound more like what it's supposed to be. Yep. Uh... How about him? He seems important. Apparently not. So there's so, no point to our being here right now, wonderful. I guess we were here to progress in Flan Town with Snow. So... Do we? What do we go to Flan Town or do we go to Hope Dungeon? Town? Um... Okay, if we're weighing up who is my favourite character out of Snow and Hope, we're going to Flan Town. Because also, Snow may outrank Hope, but Flans outrank, <laughs> outrank Snow. Or we could just go to the Colosseum. Maybe later? What do you think, Thread? We think you should go to see Snow! Okay, Thread. You the thing is, sounding... Snow feels a bit more like moving on. Ah, oh, that is true. Let's go to Hope. I want to finish our unfinished business first. Yeah. I don't really remember our business because I was kind of tired when we did Hope last time because we just done Oh hey, the poker. right stick does things. Whoa, check it the fuck out! Why only the right stick? I don't know. There was another game. Well, I know lots of games have done that, but like where I had way too much fun. It was fu it was Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. Like, the words were highlighted in flame, and with the right stick you could move the flame around, but only player one could. And I remember that me and a friend used to fight over who'd get to be player one. You can't get too close to having a real game on the loading screen, because Namco have the patent on that. Yeah, which is so strange. Because if you remember all those old Ridge Racer games with, like... Yeah, yeah, but that's such a good idea that doesn't happen anymore, because there's a patent on it. Uh, I guess talk to Hope or this fan character. We're working on a method that will let us travel into the future. Can't you just use the gates? <laughs> a method that doesn't require any special abilities like you guys have. We are special. The gravitational field, the flow of time slows down. You could go to sleep for a day, and outside a hundred years would pass. It should be possible to build a device to exploit that. But you then you back. can't get. If you Back. Off, yeah. Maybe we'll meet in Whoops, area. I accidentally went to the end of the world. Now everyone I knew is dead! Why am I a moron? <laughs> because I am Alyssa, Square's fan character. You mean Triace's fan character? Sorry, Triace's fan character. Did you understand why I wanted to show you the Oracle Drive? No. I think I do. You've been looking for lightning too all this time. Why does everyone care so much about lightning? She was a cardboard box with a frowny face drawn because on it. Because she was theoretically the main character, and therefore they all really care. He's been analyzing the Oracle Drive and the images that appear to be lightning. What should I ask him? Um... Who was the CRS? That's been mentioned, and it's oh, was you. It? Okay, then, do you know of Valhalla? Hope, have you ever heard of <laughs> Molto bene. A forgotten region, I think. Was there anything more? <laughs> what was <laughs> that camera angle? I'm sorry. I really <laughs> like the dynamic camera in this. I think that no cutscenes should ever be pre-rendered. <laughs> oh god, that unfortunately makes more sense to me than it should after watching that dumb video someone linked in the old thread. Cool, I don't watch videos. Also, I didn't watch it at the time because... It is spoilers. a video, it, it's not really spoilers because it is the general fabulous exploding star crystals mythology explanation Ugh. video. We should probably move while you talk. <laughs> still barely scratched the surface here. But yeah, so what happens in it that explains things? Well, it talks about the original, like, the original Foul Sea, and the Maker has a name, and then there's this other one, and... Talk to that mini, 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 mini. Man. Um, And by blokey man, I mean woman, on the left. <laughs> they found traces of what looks like a large-scale battle in these ruins. They have covered piles of bones that were all scratched up. People in the past had to live through some tough times. That's right. 
And it also looks like they were fighting their own kind, not outsiders who had come to raid their town. That is... The group that stayed on Cocoon and the ones who moved to Pulse aren't on great terms. If things escalate, we might have another war. That would be pointless. Yeah. People fighting against each other in a time like this is just plain stupid. Yes! But we can't seem to stop it from happening. <laughs> because plot. Japan has a really weird attitude to why wars occur. Where are we actually going? I don't know. Have a look around and see if you can find a gold thing. Because there's not an obvious boss in this place. Other than hope. We have to slay hope to progress. As great as that would be... Apparently, Square like hope. Oh, and that's a blocked off way to go, isn't it? Which is why it's the big... Hexagon things. Yeah. What was I even saying before that? Um, crystals. The enemy's troops are made up mainly of former Sanctum soldiers. My commanding officer even fought in Cocoon's capital city. <laughs> he I was one of the ones who wasn't killed by the main party. I remember much, if anything, about life on Cocoon. It was that one guy that you rescued in a cutscene. Yes, that is exactly <laughs> who it was. Folks are always going on about how much they miss life on Cocoon. I can't empathize with them. Is it me, or does it look like Time Moogle is fanning himself with his time stick? It does appear to be the case. Anything new to report? Is it me, or does Time Moogle like Sarah better than Lo Noel? <laughs> that is what he said! Okay, there's a square off- oh, there's-, there's That a thing is there. where we are going, but there's a thing over there. There's a square there. in the top right, yeah. La la! If I could go back in time, uh, you know what? I go like, I don't know if whether Azure Horizon's gonna watch our thread, but if he he does, he probably. Um, the music in this game is not as good as you'll probably say it is. It's sometimes cool. I know they've made quite a few. And sometimes it's dog shit and weird. I love the soundtrack to this game. It sounds like a commercial for a robotic dog. It's not because mistakes were. Or like for a doll that wets itself. And that's how advances in civilization are made. But saying that, there are some things in the world. It looks like it's it sounds like it's trying to sell me hair care products. The people who work for the academy aren't perfect. And what isn't great about that? Judgment. <laughs> Basically this Someone apparently needs to pick up some cat food. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, hello there. Watch him a flick. <laughs> right bump of the Moogle or whatever. Oh, on the Moogle. Oh, on the Moogle, that's what we called it. Oh, because the PlayStation, you can say R1 oh, and R2. Yes. And there is, of course, also l one the Moogle. Which is throwing that motherfucker. At a wall! And he bounces off! And does it still make all the NPCs rush to you? Yes! You bounced and then bounced off the floor! That's great. I'll do it again. But no, I think my favourite thing about Oh, L1 because I tried to press it too soon afterwards, but not this time, Koopo! <laughs> but like, the, my favourite thing about l one the Moogle is that it freaks the AI the fuck out. <laughs> like, oh my god, did you see that guy throw that bear cat rabbit? See, the soundtrack of this has now got to the point where the music has run out, and so now there's just all going la 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 la. We haven't identified any signs of danger at present. La 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 la. At least that's interesting. Anything happen? Yeah. I hope this allows you to focus on your work. I like to think that like the orchestra were paid for a certain amount of hours, and theirs ran out, and so they stopped, and they still just had the vocalist there. And she just carried on. You haven't identified any signs of danger at present. Oh, we've got a harp back in now. And then we're gonna go to a dungeon and it's gonna be different. Yeah. So I'm trying to see if I can call in some favors 
to get a full orchestra for Forum's poster, Harris Bomber Guy's film project. Just for like a single tune. Just because I want to record an orchestra again. Oh yeah, in this place has different fight music. Oh, yeah. What defines what fight music it gets? I don't know. I like that there's more than one and they sort of alternate though. Yeah. No, that's cool. I was just wondering if there's... It's not like future and past. Just... These are all future. Um... Oh, we, we, are, we unlocked the thing. What did we unlock? A Gahongus! Which sounds like a euphemism. Boy, that monster sure has some Gahongus. It sure does. Straight on, okay. Are we not gonna look at Gahongus? Because, <laughs> I mean, I have an internet connection. That is Gahongas, it is a synergist. Oh, then fuck Gahongas. What does it actually learn? Not that we'll be using it because we have Saz. Yeah, unless it immediately learns haste. No. In which case, sorry, but fuck Saz. We are never getting haste. Yeah. Whee! I actually had to press a button. God damn this game. Can you jump back up? Uh No. Oh, mate. Ah, okay, if you go that way. Fair enough. Because that looked like a little bit of a jump, and I was wondering if, like, once we're here, we are here forever. Hmm? Is that one? No. Oh, okay, cool. Because I really couldn't see one. Alright, onward to that thing. Which is a. Gate! Okay. Sure. There wasn't a dungeon crawl, there was just. Get a new level. Cool. Well, new level would be nice. Here. This must be the gate Hope was talking about. Maybe. Maybe? It's a gate, and he was talking about one in this area. Yeah. What? You look different. There's something on your mind. Yeah, well, um... The Medici. Sure, but it's just personal stuff. My entire family was murdered. Except for my sister and mother. Noel seems troubled about Bothered them. by the Moogle! <laughs> which one... Like, I know which one I want to pick. But do you want to get a reward? Which I don't know if it would be Oracle Drive or CRS. I so. thought it would be Oracle Drive, but. It's the Moogle. He really <laughs> Yes! <gasps> Is it that obvious? <laughs> I look at strange little face and I can't help but worry. I mean, what now? <laughs> this game is amazing, and I don't see why anyone wouldn't love the, the cutscenes. <laughs> She was just miming the Moogle! <gasps> that was amazing. I'm glad we picked the Moogle option. All Moogles all the time is this game. I can't actually bring myself to dislike the Moogle as much anymore. Now that we can throw it into a wall. We're... Plotting. Of course, he wasn't the only one who was troubled. The Moogle so was too. I saw in the flickering images of the prophecy. Probably. Was it really lightning I saw in the flicking, flickering images of the prophecy? The paradox. That sounds like a seventies prog lyric. Live trigger rewards. You obtain a blue butterfly. Cool. I hope that's a thing that they can wear. Yes, it is. Excellent. Uh, the two hundred AF. Cool. Let's go and see snow first. Okay. That's not it. That's it. 